Welcome back to CBS Sports HQ presented by Geico. Denzel Ward is entering his sixth season with the Cleveland Browns, but the cornerback said this year feels different. He said this is the most talented Browns roster that he's been a part of. Now, Cleveland, coming off a 7-10 and 10 year, they spent this offseason adding to their already strong unit. Ward, a two-time Pro Bowler, totaled three interceptions, 15 deflected passes, and two fumble recoveries, which he returned for touchdowns last season. And he took some time to chat with our Evan Washburn. Well, Denzel, first of all, thanks for taking some time with us here. You guys have been at this for a little bit longer than the rest of the teams here in training camp. What stood out to you about the group you guys are building? Uh, just the uh, camaraderie and the chemistry, i say right now. I think a big part of that was the coaches uh, getting us down to Greenbrier and uh, being able to just uh, build our relationships out there, grow as a team, and I feel it, uh, definitely brought us closer together. You made the point while down there that this is as talented a group as you've been around in your six years in Cleveland, but it's about putting it all together. What goes into that? How do you put this together where the talent leads to wins? Yeah, I think that's what we're doing now, just going through meetings, going through practice, uh, the communication out there on the field, uh, and just getting those reps every single day, I think that's bringing us together and uh, been on top of that talent. You've been around here for, as I mentioned, six years, and it seems like when you guys fly under the radar, sometimes, for whatever reason, the seasons end up being better in that win-loss column. Have you seen any correlation to when there's a lot of attention on you guys, sometimes it's not a good thing, and right now you guys seem to be flying under that radar? No, I haven't seen any correlation, but, uh, yeah, we're just, we're just focused on what we got to focus on, taking things a day at a time and getting ready for the season. What do you think about the additions uh, defensively? Most notably, you got Zedarius, Dalvin, Juan in the back end with you. What have they brought? Yeah, the big key additions uh, that we brought to this team. Uh, Dalvin, the big guy up front, stuffing that middle up. Juan, I mean, you seeing him out here with his communication, making plays out there on the field, running fast. So, uh, like I said, just bringing all that together and uh, just coming together as a team. And the guy stirring the drink, Jim Schwartz, mm -hmm. at defensive coordinator. How has he changed what it is you guys are going to do defensively? Yeah, just uh, changes in the scheme and the whole playbook, actually. So, uh, we all been learning the playbook, uh, liking the scheme that he's put in so far. And uh, we're just trying to come out here and execute it every day. At the other side, you got Deshaun Watson. He's got the, the full offseason, the full season to go to work. Early returns from having to go against him in practice and some 11-on-11, 7-on-7. 11 11, on seven. How's Deshaun look to you? Man, Deshaun, Deshaun, he's elite. I mean, you see that out here every day. I mean, you got to be in perfect position to make a play on that ball. He's putting the ball where it needs to be. Uh, really where only the receiver can make a play. So it's making us better, uh, making the offense better. So uh, definitely glad he's on our team and uh, looking forward to continuing to compete against him. And he's one of an AFC that's loaded at the quarterback position. In your division, you're going to see a number of them. What excites you about the challenge of the guys you'll face this season? Uh, just going out there and competing, just the competition level that the, uh, the division brings, and uh, just going out there and try to get a win. Appreciate you, Dan. Appreciate Good luck Thank this you. Year, man. Thank you. Thanks. The training camp tour continues. We have two days the rest of the week today. Cardinals and Steelers followed by the Bengals and the Bucks on Thursday, finishing off the week with the Dolphins and the Titans. We have got you covered here on CBS Sports HQ.